before to cut everybody off like now. Nah. Push the goddamn button, man. <laughs> What's up, brother? What's happening with you, Broski? How you how you feeling? I'm 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 uh I'm all right, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know how you feeling after you watch this movie. Um whew, okay. Um with the amount that I was able to consume. Yeah, man. It's, it's, to be honest, it's, <laughs> you ain't missing nothing. Mic check one two one two mic check. Oh, how you feeling, man? Uh, I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Damn, my nigga, I still got <laughs> I still got 45 minutes left, bro. That's bro, crazy. But you know what's crazy about that? <laughs> I can tell you like this. You ain't you ain't. You ain't missing nothing. What's up, JJ? What's going on, Chris? So I was at the soccer field. Both of my daughters had soccer practice, and I was trying to watch the movie while I was out there and yeah, watch just... soccer practice at the same time. And then my signal started going in and out. Oh, so I didn't. Trying to... So I was just like, bro. They were trying to bend it like Beckham. Okay, I got it. That's all good. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. But yeah, so we're gonna introduce the show first and then we're gonna um introduce this movie. Um, but what's up, what's up, everybody? We're like welcome to another episode of the Popcorn in Your Beer podcast. Of course, this is Tuesday. I'm your host Rashad, along with Yep, and last but not least, I am the King MOE, aka who in the periodic table is this? Good day. Um <laughs> um first of all because. uh get some shout outs uh shout out to the replay gang uh if you're gonna be watching this on replay we appreciate you coming through make sure you like share, subscribe take a moment and leave a comment so we know you was here um shout out to our our other co-hosts um mika ken and duke um ken's birthday is today so make sure you go ahead and send him some well wishes on his 80th six birthday uh mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um i didn't even know i was going with that i said 80 of six i just yeah don't even worry about it how old you, bro. Be like that. <laughs> love you bro um shout out to the first lady she's uh she's on sabbatical right now so she just in uh she just in you know taking care of herself so we love you. Can't wait for you to come back. Duke, uh, his atheris is messing up. So you know what I'm saying? He uh he uh he got a lot going on. Inflammation in the atheris is uh yeah, it's it's not talked about on TV enough. So we don't know yeah. enough about it. Further research is needed. Absolutely. And uh Duke, it was just it, it was his calling to be the poster child for this this rare condition, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um so <laughs> Deadly Dilf. Um, so Is the we D for dad or daughter? Dad. I don't see. That's the thing. It could be both. Um, the way um, 
potassium was acting like I I, I yeah. thought it was D for dark. <laughs> Brother, um I, I don't I don't know. Um but we've 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 Let me get the we've watched um we've reviewed you know classic movies such as Stepmother One, Two, and Three, Spaghetti Man, uh Tiffany Which, Doll. It still um, blows my mind that our three highest viewed podcasts are stepmothers one, two, and three. Um yeah, but uh here we have <laughs> Here we have a, um, a YouTube original uh, called The Deadly Dilf. <laughs> um, nobody has last names in this movie, by the way. That's just, just to let you know. <laughs> so no, nobody has a last name. Um, the one girl, uh, 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 Elysium? Petroleum? Yeah. I, I, um, potassium? Magnesium? I don't. I don't know. What are what are them what are them names? Uh, what are them? So, just to give you a quick backstory on it, this young lady uh, is out jogging one night. Um, she runs up to the house. This is all in the first five minutes, by the way. Uh, she runs up to the house because uh, apparently she's out jogging without her key, um, and uh, she's already panicking for her father to open the door. When he does. The random dude in the hoodie, what's up, Kiana? The random dude in the hoodie uh, kidnaps, well, tries to attempt to kidnap her or whatever. I don't know what he was trying to do, but you can see his face and everything. He was in broad, broad, you know, in the light with a hoodie. I don't know what a ring doorbell was, but he was in the, he had on a hoodie and um, he attempted to kidnap this young lady. The father gets his daughter back, by the way, because this struggle was trash. Like the, the struggle between them two was trash. He gets his daughter back, and some for some reason, for uh, some odd odd reason, he has zero weapons with him. But he decides to chase his young man and get shot in the neck. And dies. In the jugular. And dies. That that is the first. That is the first five <laughs> five minutes of this movie. So so real quick, mm. it says here. A harmless flirtation between a college freshman and the hot dad next door turns deadly when the young girl becomes obsessed with him and tries to destroy his marriage. If that doesn't sound like the wiki on a Tubi movie on a Tuesday, I don't know what does. So she was like 17, 18. Which so I just that, looked that it up in, real, in, in real life. More she's creepy. 24 because she was born in 99. So yeah, mm -hmm. but she definitely looks like she was a little teeny bopper. Can I can I say this? Can we please like hire people to teach people how to run or like just watch a track meet or something? Because uh, th this girl was running trash. Like it was a trash run. I didn't like it. it made me feel uncomfortable. I was like, no, could have done better. Um. So. I'm glad you, you said start? that because there was something else that was done in this movie that was absolutely a uh, big trash. But we're gonna get to it. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Um, so this new couple moves in. Um, <laughs> Rancho Cucamonga. So, so this this new couple moves in, and um, of course it's the the dad that's the dilf or whatever. Um, his brother, uh, who doesn't stay with them, but he's helping to move in, didn't see anybody pick up a box, but the two, but the husband, but the wife and the brother to carry in everything else is already in the house, apparently. I don't know, but um, the father and the son are playing football while everybody else is carrying stuff, big trash. Um, and this is sometime after apparently this young lady's father passes away. Now, um, what's weird about this is everything <laughs> that that part that part definitely gave a stepmother intro, stepmother two intro. Um, so they're playing this; they're playing with the football, and the football gets tossed into the the other yard. 
Now, why they are playing football by the pool, couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you. It's stupid. But uh, but they were playing football by the pool. Pool ball goes over, so um, magnesium comes over to uh return the football, and um, and uh Rio, which I'm guessing is short for Mario, maybe. I don't know, but she the she had the initial interaction with his brother first. With the brother first, yeah, with the brother, and then um, she introduced. Yeah, like, oh, that's not my football. That it, it belongs to Gunner. <laughs> Gunner, that's that's Gunner's football. Child, name nigga, I don't know who that is. <laughs> Your football ended up in my yard. I'm bringing it back, and you talking about guns? Take mm-hmm. take your goddamn football. So this couple owns a gym, by the way. Um, they own a gym. Well, the husband it's the husband's gym that was paid for by the wife. Um, 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 is and because uh, if it was a bowling alley, that would have just been too. <laughs> so, the wife, so the wife basically has the husband on an allowance. Um, she get she gets like a teenager, he's a, yeah. He's a um, what, what you call him, sugar baby? Well, he's not even sugar baby, they're the same age. Um, but so whenever he, whenever he jumped fly and, and, and want to talk shit, she, that's when she slapped all the envelopes on the table, like, oh, mm-hmm. which, which, which bill you want to pay? Which one you want to pay? <laughs> which one you want to pay? Um, what's also crazy about this is him and the brother box a lot, so they box at the gym or whatever. So, uh, to, yeah, to, to, to revisit. Rashad's previous statement about teaching people how to run like they actually know how to run. Uh this 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 boxing that was going on right in the ring and stuff with the gloves on. No, like they have a slap box. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas have never seen a fight in their life. The footwork was trash. The way that these niggas was putting their dukes up was trash. The way that uh, these niggas have never thrown a punch in real life. Um, there was a lot going on in the first. Like they feed you a lot of information that doesn't really make sense. Um, there's so much unathleticness in this movie, and it pisses. There me was off. there was one line from the from the wife who said. She said, don't forget to uh, get you a beer for after your workout. Huh? Who the fuck drinks beer? So, so there's that part. Beer is trash. I mean, I drink beer, but you know, I'm I'm not working out and then I'm not working out and then going to drink a beer. That's just counterproductive um jesus christ <laughs> um so not gatorade not gatorade be, not water but i got a beer workout. but you want a michelob <laughs> ultra after- <laughs> <sighs> um it's tuesday y'all it's <laughs> it's tuesday <laughs> Listen, um, so, uh, so, so immediately off bat, uh, Mesopotamia starts, <laughs> just, just starts, just starts flirting with, uh, with the husband Rio and, um, no build up whatsoever. Yeah, like she, she is head over heels she for this man. She immediately flirts with this man. He immediately is with it. Oh, let let me look. Let me not forget this. All over the water bottle, like this here. They start playing music. <laughs> Why are you grabbing? Like his seventy smut film, they start they start playing music. Like I'm like, what what is this? They should they, they should have just played. They should have just played careless whisper. It's straight up stock music. Like, ugh, what what like what kind of 
first of all, he doesn't even know how old this little girl is. And he's up here dabbing hands with her on a water bottle. Because they um, was talking and then... Yeah. Um, what what he said? Um, he said... Uh, what's her name was introducing herself and she was doing all this extra talking and I'm just like... Uh, Ooh, a Nux in the Moon? A Nux like, in the Moon? That's what you talking about? She, uh... I was just like, bro, move around. And then she was just then like... man said... Oh, I forgot something. Can't forget this. Yeah, he said, uh, yeah. Oh, I'll hi- get it for you. Hydration. What do you say? Hydration is the key to muscle recovery. Who, who, who so talks like that? He, who first like of that? all, so much shit happens in front of this man's <laughs> wife. And I don't understand. He's stupid. Okay. Wife is standing here. Magnesium is standing here. Mm-hmm. Rio was here, but somehow these two are doing stuff. Like with her mm-hmm. in the so this whole both of us massaging each other's hand as we reach for the same water bottle should happen. These niggas are literally like eyes locked. You mean to tell me Tori was just standing there like mm-hmm. like damn it show was taking a long time for these niggas to grab this one water bottle? One singular water bottle. One looking into each other water bottle. So Calcium goes back home, right? And uh, she's just infatuated with this man, enamored, enamored with this, with this, with this young gentleman. With this gentleman, he gentleman. goes outside to fix the out, <laughs> the outdoor <laughs> shower. <laughs> oh, hold on, let me get it out. Let me get it out. Oh man, so. So Rio, nigga, fix a what? Rio goes out <sighs> outside, right? I do not want y'all to see my face right now. Rio, Rio goes outside to fix the outdoor shower. So cucumber is uh sitting outside, uh, and Why she's looking across outside, the fence, cause... like she's staring at him. Clearly visible because her head is she, her head is like this. Sh- she, she she like this. Talking about you can't be seen, girl. You see your whole forehead. So, so magnesium is sitting there. She on the, she looking on the at wall this man like this. while he fixing the shower. Um, because apparently he needs one outside. Yeah. So so apparently they need a they need a uh they need a shower outside because how is it already broken? You just got the house. Um, <laughs> whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. So that gives them the reason for this man to come out of his whole entire shirt. Um, <laughs> hold on, wait, hold on. Let me get this part out. <laughs> get this part out. So, so trapezium is watching this man take his shirt off while he while the water is just. First of all, he turns the water on, and this music starts playing. And he started like slow, slow touching itself in the pool. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Turned Go ahead. into a whole RB music video <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> what? The- hey, and then this man, he takes his shirt off, right? He takes his shirt off. And he has. The biggest clump of hair <laughs> around his navel. I'm like, bro, that's not even sexy. Like, what are you doing? What are, what are you doing? What are you doing? So helium and her friend uh go up to the fence and they both looking. There at was the fence, no man. reason. It, it was none. For none this whatsoever. nigga to to. To start an R&B music video outside. No, whatsoever. Like, the music that was playing was so repairs. cheesy. That, that, the music that was playing was so cheesy. It it was just like, I don't even know. But, uh... <laughs> What's up, man? Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Was her homeboy gay? I think so. 
Like G H E Y. I think so. And like he was, he was like, it was so like bad gay. Like it wasn't even like he wasn't even like a good gay character. Like he was trash. Like he was like, yeah, he's such a dilf. I'm like, bro, shut up. <laughs> I was today years old when I heard the term dilf. I was I was when I first watched the movie. Uh th- this is her name. I'm not saying it. I'm calling her whatever I feel like calling her. Um, so Coliseum and her homeboy are watching this man uh shower in this in this uh in this outdoor shower, and he's acting like you know. So you mean to tell me nobody can see him? You are doing repairs mm-hmm. on a shower head on the exterior under, under, of your un, house. underneath underneath the shower. <laughs> by the way. <laughs> So in order for you to understand whether or not the shower is working properly, you decide to close your eyes, take off your shirt slowly. I'm talking about 90s Jody C video for no reason. For no fucking reason. Oh my God. None of this stuff made sense. None, none of it. Like none of this stuff made sense. Of what are you doing, being a creep? Mm-hmm. He walk. He walks up and catches her being a creeper on this on this dude, um, who decides he want to take off his shirt and fix the shower. So yeah, sure, why not? Let's go with that. Um. So a little a little backstory on Rio and his wife Tori. Um the reason that they got together is because Rio cheated with Tori on his baby mama Mara to uh who his is ex-wife. his ex-wife, yeah. So they cheated together. Mom. And um now him gunner and tori live together um, and uh she's helping to raise gunner um now how'd you come up with that name i don't i don't know how they came up with gunner but uh (laughs) but um but yeah so they are all living this happy life now this is the funny thing about this. Um uh dang what I'm about to call it. Um uh, gymnasium. <laughs> yeah, uh gymnasium uh basically infiltrates the family and whatever, and she's trying to basically get as close to Rio as humanly possible. And starts by becoming the babysitter. And starts by becoming the baby. This woman was sick from day one. Like, she was head over heels trying to get at this man, knowing he had a whole what? She went over there with the <laughs> hit me baby one more time outfit. I said, I'm no good and well. And then Tori going to have the nerve to say, oh, I don't like your shirt. Yeah, I had mm-hmm. a thing at school. I had a thing after school. I didn't have time to change. Shut your goddamn mess up. Shut, 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 shut up. Shut up. Shut, you run. Shut, you you live next, though. So, Symposium is uh, watching Gunner. And what does Gunner go get? The gun. <laughs> Why is your gun so easily accessible? You I are a dumb parent. You are the I dumbest I can't make this shit up. <laughs> Gunner, where'd you find this gun? Oh, my my dad told me where. Why the, the father has told him where this gun is. So, um, so what's up? What's up, man? Um, so at this point, you kind of got a feeling 
that um you kind you kind of got a feeling that uh Charmillion is uh really not going to back down. Adam. Like she's going to she's going to try to get this man at any any way, any point, by any means, any means necessary. What it do, Bam? What's going on? She wants this man. Now, one night when she's jogging. Now, for some reason, the wife was away. Uh, I forgot what the reason was, but for for some reason, she's out jogging one night, and the same kind of incident happens where her father got uh got murdered or whatever. So she runs up to the door, um, trying to get uh trying to get a hold of Rio to open the door so she can come in. So she's like, hey man, this dude is oh, forgot to tell you, there was a there was a friend of hers that passed by and said some creepy thing. I, I don't even know what he said. I forgot what it was, but he said something to her. But that was a friend that was chasing. Well, he, I guess he wasn't chasing her. But he looked like the criminal that killed her father. So lithium ion goes up to uh Rio's door and he like she's like, let me in. I need to come in. Somebody's chasing me. Somebody's chasing me. And he he's took like, the hood who? off, like, he's like hey, me. That's your friend. What you talking about? That's your that's homeboy who was shooting a shot earlier. That's homeboy that was trying to get your digits. Um so she comes inside and she's like, Oh, I don't want to go home tonight. I'm like. You stay next door. He could literally walk you home. And sir, you're married. What are you doing? So condominium and uh and Rio go upstairs because he's trying to show her a new uh, a room, whatever, because so she could stay tonight. Why? Don't know. She lives next door. But um then this man opened his mouth, said, You can sleep in my bed, I'll go sleep on the couch. Excuse me. Brother, what 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 did we learn from the, what do we learn from the last movie we watched? I'm telling my wife. I'm telling my wife. I'm telling my wife. Yes, sir. You you mind if I go get some juice real quick? Hey, brother, do your thing, man. Yeah, I'll be right back. Let me go get some juice. So Imperium is sitting there uh on the bed, right? And um <laughs> and this man, mind you, he's in the bed that him and his wife are are sharing. It's not it's not like a other room. Uh it's not any of that. They are in his bed that he shares with his wife and for some reason she says stay with me now at that point you think all right cool bet you know what i'm saying like i'm gonna just i'm gonna just you know what i'm saying like she just she, she shook up right now i'm tripping a little bit i'm gonna let her i'm gonna let her just you know what i'm saying just relax you know she want to talk we talk this man walks back over to her And he's like, you know, I'm married, right? And she said, I'm not going to tell. And proceeds to undress this man right there in the bed. Like, what what are you doing? Yes, sir. This man had one singular no in his wallet. <laughs> he ain't even that wasn't even a real no. This like, man walked up that walked wasn't up to her while she was sitting on the bed and said, Oblesium, I'm married. <laughs> I won't tell anybody. And then he was on her. I'm like, bro, that's that's it. But Coliseum said, I want you one time, and that man was ready to just, just let it go. He knew he was going to spin that one note. He already knew it. So, Chameleon wakes up the next day, walks downstairs Trash. in this man's shirt, and kisses him. 
it, while he's in the kitchen. She has on his shirt in his house that he shares with his wife. Where was his wife? Because because how are you comfortable walking around in this man t-shirt? T-shirt and your panties on like you think you were Dina Howard. Like, what are we doing? I definitely do not remember if his wife had to go somewhere or where she went or whatever the case or why he ended up home alone in the first place. I don't remember I why don't she know. wasn't there. But Technesium was like, hey, I mean, the timing couldn't have been more perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm pretend getting chased by somebody. Came to your house. You in here solo dolo. I'm trying to go meet the meat. She trying to, she was trying to go. She was trying to go with it. Um. So this is my thing. If everybody's been telling you that your husband is a cheater, always been a cheater, will be a cheater, cheated with you to get to you. You, you don't think you don't think that uh maybe maybe uh you know maybe maybe you don't want to deal with that type of person but you know whatever so um so premium uh goes to school because after he tells her hey listen the one night thing can't do it no more i'm married i'm a married man it was a mistake it, sh it shouldn't have happened so of course that activated her crazy. Um <laughs> she starts she starts following him to classes, popping up on him in random different places. He, he got has a job this, at his gym. He has this broke tool shed outside with all these tools in it. Don't know where the tools came from. But he has all these tools in them, and they just it looked like it's overcrowded. So he has all these tools in the outside thing by the pool that don't even look like they should go to the pool. Um, but you know, he's like, he's like, hey man, listen, I'm married, it was a mistake, and she like, oh, oh, so I was a mistake, huh? Okay, okay, okay. So you scared about how you felt with me. Don't worry about it. It's you cool. Scared. It's you scared. You scared. It's how I get it. So um, so helium now pops up at the gym that he work he he owns, him and his wife's gym. And he's like, Hey, what you doing here? She's like, I work here. He says, Since when? Since today. today. How you got that job? <laughs> how you got that job that fast? And then Tori came and co-signed, like, yeah, old girl, I had to. You know what I'm saying? She called out sick because she had a um, something wrong with her after. She she something wrong with her after. So you know, he, you know what I'm saying? Petroleum just happened to pop in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So at this point, you you just kind of figure out that uh, trapezium is just is just crazy. She she ain't no ain't no coming back for her type of crazy. She gonna she gonna see this thing all the way through, my boy. Um, and you done got up in there and mashed the button too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he done, he done mashed that crazy button. He hit he hit a, he hit he hit, the, hit the crazy button. So the boxing again was terrible. So this scene because his brother was like, "Why are you coming at me so hard, bro?" There's a scene. <laughs> there's a scene where there's like fast motion punches. And um, like it's like a shaky, like the camera starts shaking and stuff like that. And it's like he's like, "Oh, why you came at me like that?" Mind you, no punches were thrown, <laughs> like zero, zero punches were thrown. But for some reason, he was like, "Hey, why you came at me like that?" Okay, gotcha. So that happens. Stupid. He's like, "Hey, man." I messed up, man. I cheated on my girl. His brother, like, what again? <laughs> like, brother, how many times have you cheated? Because, like, <laughs> what is going on? Like, you're you're a well known cheater, apparently at this point. 
Like you just you just got the reputation. So he so he ain't tell him that he had uh he he had smashed uh helium, but he just said that he cheated. He just said he cheated. Now this is this is where things go a bit weird. So the wife sets up a double date, right? <laughs> so this is what gives very pedo vibes. The wife sets up a double date, right? The husband, I believe, is in his 30s. The brother is older. His <laughs> the other brother is older than him. The wife I thought, sets, I thought Rio said he was the older brother. Mm-mm. No. Because there was an exchange they had where he was like, first of all, I'm older than you. Oh, really? Uh yeah. if he is, it's not by much. But um, either way. Um, I think they both were in their thirties. So, um, this girl is 17, 18 years old. Um, they go out on a double date, and guess who shows up to the date? Who shows up, Mo? Um. Afrozelium. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But real quick, I got a question. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's the question? <sighs> to to Rashad and the six people in the chat. If you have two children and they are both in their thirties, what that mean? Cause I, cause, cause I, I feel like Rashad is saying one is like thirty three, and the other one is like thirty three and a half. Like, why are they so close? Why, why are they so close in age? What that mean? And their dad ain't come up for L. Hmm? But, um, uh-uh. but, uh, but yeah, they go out on a date. Uh, now, mind you, she is she she smashed the brother already. So the brother in um in Helion Prime, they go back to they go back to his crib. Uh and she she like she ready to she, she ready to be she ready to go. So what's up? Okay, so real quick, real quick. The part that I got to, because disclaimer, I I I was not able to watch the full movie. I got to the part. I man, I had at least like a half, like a little bit over a half hour left in this movie. I got to the part where they was at the track field, mm-hmm. and Magnesium jumped the gun like three times. So that was after, and then the she was, yeah. and then she was talking to her homeboy. Uh, Glenn from The Walking Dead, and that's 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 as far as I got. Yeah. So okay. So this is what happened. So they get to that part. So on that part, that's when the wife sets up the double date. They go on the double date. So they're at the house, and um, she starts coming on to the brother, coming on to the brother strong. So they kissing and everything, and she ends up calling the brother real. He was like, "Hold up." Stiff arm. What you call me? Said, "Oh, I'm sorry." Like, nah, nah, nah. You call me my brother now. What you want with my brother? So that's when um the brother start putting two and two together. He's like, "Oh man, you scandalous geezer. You the one. You the one. He was. He was. He was with. Hey, get out." And she was like. I ain't want to be here anyway. No. Whatever. After after Buddy tried to give her that hush money, she was like, "Uh, I lived in this neighborhood at first. You can't just yeah. make me disappear. Not so, only do I not want your money, I don't want your wife's money either. Yeah. 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 So. So uh, at this point, 
Magnesium done said, you know what? I'm about to play hardball. So, uh, chat, so, y'all had no juice today, man. Go, go get you some juice. <laughs> so, uh, so this is what happens. So, the wife comes to pick up the son from daycare. I mean, school, from school. So, <laughs> Um, the wife goes to pick up the kid from school. Um, at this point, uh, Magnesium is playing hardball. So she's like, I bet, you know what? I'm going to take your son. So she takes the son to the fair, you know what I'm saying? Without anybody knowing anything. So she's like, yeah, I'm about to take him or whatever. So, yeah. So she takes Gunner to the fair. Or whatever, whatever little thing, or whatever to the pier. So the wife comes and he's like, "Hey, uh, she's like, is uh, where's Gunner at?" It's like, "Oh, you supposed to pick him up from school." So he was like, he was like, "Oh shoot, where's Gunner at?" So everybody's running through the house trying to find Gunner. Now this is a dramatic, scene. <laughs> and this is what I said. Like they be playing these like dramatic scenes, so everybody's outside yelling, "Gunner, Gunner!" <laughs> <laughs> How do we say it, bro? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> so, so they all outside yelling. <laughs> Mind you, he's driving. He's driving fast. The wife is upstairs in the bedroom. The uh, the ex-wife is outside in the yard, and everybody's at one time. So everybody yell up a gutter. So they all sitting at the house. Because I guess for some reason they just stopped. So they call the police. The police don't get there. Mind you, it's done been like six hours. <laughs> so they call the police. Police ain't, ain't there yet. So in walks Magnesium and Gunner. Um, and she's like, Gunner, where, where have you been? Oh my God, I'm so glad to see you. He was like, you took Gunner? Oh, you told me to pick him up. So she's like, she's like, oh no, he called me last night and told me to pick up Gunner. Why would he call me at this time? So she like, oh, so she trying to throw seeds out there, right? So mind you, the wife already done said that the 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 uh, sheet smell like uh, cheap perfume. So she already knows in her head something is going on, but she can't put two and two together that him and Little Miss got something going on. So so boom. So we cut to uh Gunner going to bed, right? So they're checking under the beds and everything like that. Cause um because uh Gunner basically is like, um, hey, you know, I don't want any monsters or anything on my bed. Can you check? So they checking under the beds. It's all clear, Gunner. So the dad stays with Gunner, you know, to talk to him or whatever. So the wife goes back into the bedroom. Um, where her and um the husband uh are are uh where they where they sleep. So she starts checking under the bed or whatever, and so she finds these random red panties <laughs> just chilling on the bed. So well, chilling underneath the bed. So of course she goes downstairs and starts drinking. Um. So she goes downstairs and starts drinking wine. She so, found a pair of panties and got thirsty. Yeah, so she said she gonna she she was gonna set his wine up. So she goes downstairs and starts drinking wine. So as she's drinking the wine, she drops a bottle on the ground. Now, Mo, I don't know how big your house is, man, but if somebody drops a bottle of wine in your house, you're gonna be able to hear it, right? Absolutely. Regardless of where you're at. It don't matter. So she drops the bottle of wine. He doesn't hear it. So he comes, he walks up on her. And he's like, hey, baby, what's going on? Then he walks up and sees the glass. Hey, what happened? Like, you didn't hear that the, the, the glass shatter on the ground? No, no, no. 
Okay, cool. Got you. So she's like, but if a nigga like, turn the fan off, you hear that? So, so this was so this would get this would gets crazy. Well, it's already crazy. But this would get crazier. So she points at some panties or whatever. He was like, he was like, what what are those? <laughs> she was like, don't lie. Don't you lie to me. Stop lying. You always lie. <laughs> So this is what she reveals. She's talking about. So all the uh I've seen all the uh the signs and everything. I just didn't want to believe him. So he was like, Man, it was potassium. Like she did this. <laughs> so she's like, she's like, why are you lying? Why are you lying? He was like, he was like, baby, it was one time, and she was like. Oh, you think that's gonna make me feel better? You out here cheating with magnesium, and I'm, I'm supposed to feel better about this. So she said, "You know what? I'm leaving. I deserve better. Uh, Gunner deserves better. Like we all deserve better." But it was crazy because I was just like, "Wait, didn't you? Weren't you the one that cheated with him on his wife? And now y'all together? Why? Why you? Okay, whatever. But anyway." So now he's losing his mind or whatever. This is where it gets this is where it gets crazy. Like apparently she has superpowers. <laughs> First lady, what's up? So check this out, right? So this is where this lady has like superpowers. So everybody sleep. So somehow she breaks into the house. She has like a key for it knows where everything is. So she remember Gunner showed her what a gun was. So and the key, and the key. So she goes, gets the key, gets the gun, right? Goes in Gunner's room, kisses him on the head, right? Walks into what's the name? Uh, walks into Rio's room, and she's getting ready to like, like shoot. So I don't know how fast this woman is because she definitely wasn't that fast on the field because <laughs> she was a high jumper. I don't know why she was running the forty meters, but whatever. Uh. <laughs> so, <laughs> apparently she runs away in time for him to wake up and not see her and then when he goes back to sleep she creeps out of the room so then she goes back into Gunner's room and hides the blicky in the toy box <laughs> so 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 she hides the blicky in the toy box right so next day uh, so no, 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 no. Yeah, so that happens. But before that happens, uh, freaking, um, what's my man's name? So Rio gets, uh, what's up, first lady? So Rio gets, uh, some drugs from his brother and somehow gets it in a water bottle to give to magnesium to take <laughs> so magnesium then took this drug this this drug she didn't even know about it. so they were always randomly drug tested apparently so when helium goes in to see her coach she's like listen listen potassium he fails drugs <laughs> she's like coach I, coach i don't take drugs <laughs> so mind you she's been <laughs> You could not make this up, man. This is a real movie. Oh my god! <laughs> so, so she's like, she's like, coach. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't do drugs, man. I don't know what's going on. So she's like, listen here, trapezium. <laughs> like, you off the team? You go. That's it. We got nothing to talk about. So that she's really? leaving out. <laughs> She knocked something over in anger. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. So she finds, <laughs> she finds, uh, she finds Rio. She like, I know you did it. I know you did it, sucker. <laughs> I'm like, gonna you get you, sucker. She said, I know you did it. Dirty it's one mother. thing else. She says that it's one thing else that that toxic uh, college report gonna read. Uh, Gunner is about to be a big brother. So, so this, listen, listen, right? Listen, <laughs> hold on, hold it right there. Listen, right, listen. 
So he goes and tells the brother. And the brother like, hey, man, I think I know somebody down that, that does the report. <laughs> how you know these people? How you know how you know these people? So he's like, hey, man, I'm, I'm going to check and see if it's somebody. If it's somebody real. You know what I'm saying? If, it's, if, this, if this whole thing is real. So, so, <laughs> so, so Celsius goes to the house, right? Because she's trying to figure out what's going on. He's like, what are you doing here? So she's trying to leave. He's like, nah, you need to stop lying. Cause I done found out you weren't per- you weren't pregnant. It's all about the it's all about the blow up in your face. You need to leave my brother alone, magnesium. <laughs> so, so he's trying to find Rio. Now, brother. Okay, so a shed that won't close, you can see what's in the set in the shed. Now since Rio got her kicked off the track team, she she went in there and set up the uh the storage shed to fall on Rio. But the brother opens up the up the shed. Now, I don't know how heavy a shovel is falling from just leaning distance because the brother was pretty tall. But somehow all the things that fell on him somehow gave him like internal bleeding, some whatever the case may be. So she sees him fall, right? So she doesn't yell, nothing. She's a fall, and then like while he's on the ground, she's like, "No!" <laughs> so she's like, "So she's like, I told you, you should have listened to me." And then she gets up and walks away. <laughs> so nobody goes outside. Nobody goes outside for the whole day. So finally, uh, the wife. Uh, goes downstairs. No, was it the wife? Yeah, the wife goes downstairs and finds uh, him him out there, like dead. So they call the they call the ambulance or whatever to come find him. I think I think I, I think I mixed up a part before. Like, so no, so yeah, so this all happens in a span between between. The wife didn't leave yet, so that part with the with the wine happens after this, because all this stuff happens in the same day. So, um, so all this goes down, right? So, the the wife is gone. The wife is gone. Now, uh, it's only Rio and Gunner in the house. So they're downstairs playing the game, uh, and Gunner goes and opens the door. My it's a uh, CPS. So CPS comes to the door, and I don't know who CPS was with. But <laughs> CPS comes yeah, to the door. Know. You you better get over there and answer. So she's like, "Oh, uh, does Gunner answer the door often?" It's like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> so, so apparently, um. They're there to search uh um what's up, sir? Happy birthday, man. Um uh, they're there t- because they got an anonymous tip from a uh, vaccine that <laughs> the gun is in gunner's room. <laughs> This is the crazy so thing about it, right? This is the crazy thing about it. The lady that comes there with the C- with the CPS agent walks up to the room, grabs the pistol out of this thing with her bare hands. No gloves, no nothing. <laughs> she just grabs the gun. 
So she grabs the gun and walks down. No gloves, like, nothing. She's like, she, she's like, what's this? And he's like, oh, that's that's my gun. It's like, well, how did it get in your room? So Gunner is telling them that he never played with the gun. You know what I'm saying? He shouldn't. And he tells aluminum them that he put showed, it in there. He, he, that's, that's what I was just about to say. He showed aluminum that the gun was in the uh that the gun was in there. So now they're just like the wife is like the ex-wife. Ashwagandha is crazy. <laughs> Who so um <laughs> so um colloquium um is is setting everything up she wants him to lose his kids now she she's sitting across from the window she can see all this happening how this big window she has sees all this i don't know so um <laughs> so they take the kid they take the kid child protective services take well no they they give the kid back to the uh to the um to the uh to the wife the ex-wife so they give the kid back to the ex-wife because you know she's like all right you know what i'm gonna take the kid because you don't know how to raise him or whatever and he was like man it was magnesium she the one who did it you know and everybody's like shut up stop being stop being a liar so he gets a gun. He goes to get another gun because apparently they took that gun, but he found another whole another gun. He had two guns. Some two, he was two guns. So he grabs that gun, and now he's going after uh after uh Elysium. <laughs> and did I finally say her name. I think so. I finally said her name. All right. So Great. he's go he's going out there or whatever. I, I, we just ran out of words. <laughs> so. Uh, he's going after her, and um, he gets her in the house. Mind you, the ex-wife is now, I mean, the wife that's leaving him now, she shows back up because he finds out that she killed his brother. He killed my brother, man. She killed my brother, you know, because he gets a phone call to say that his brother's dead. Now, I don't know how hard he got hit with this random leaning falling shovel, but, you know, apparently it was hard enough to kill him. So, so, um, <laughs> yep. So, um, so Rio finds uh thesaurus and uh he's like, All right, you know, you gotta, you gotta go now, you gotta go. She was like, Oh, you want to kill me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry for everything that happened. He's like, No, you're not, not yet, not yet. So, that's when the, the old, the, the older wife. She busts in. She's like, babe, just, you know, just calm down. Calm. He's like, nah, nah, this is all her fault. Tell him, tell him what you did. She's like, yeah, I did it all. I messed up. You know, I, I, I just, and this is the thing that messed me up before, like, this whole ending happened. She was like, if you would have just loved me, this would have never <laughs> So at that point, the wife tells her to run. She just told she just she just confessed to everything. She just confessed to everything. The wife tells her to run. So this this this, this is where you can't make this up, right? <laughs> so, so potassium is staying with her grandmother, right? Mm -hmm. Potassium's grandmother is old. Potassium grandmother for some reason was driving. Yeah. For some reason she was driving out late at night, right? So she's driving. Uh, potassium is getting chased by Rio across the stops. Across us, across the stop sign. There's a stop sign, Mo. There's remember that. Remember that part. There's a stop sign. All right, stop sign. So they're running across the median, right? So everybody's running slow. By the way, they, nobody's nobody's has any kind of speed to them. So both of them get across the the crosswalk. The grandmother drives down and hits the wife slowly at the stop sign. How do you? The wife dies immediately. <laughs> the 
The wife dies immediately. She gets hit and dies immediately. Like instantly. In the slowest car car crash scene I've ever it was like they didn't want to damage the car like too bad. <laughs> like they Man, to if it. you don't they had they wanted to have it where they could like you know like knock the dent back out. <laughs> That's all it was. It was like a dent like on the hood. Um I can't you can't make this up, man. Uh so the wife dies on scene um after being hit by the grandmother. Um and this is this is where I got confused in the movie. Rio ends up in some kind of prison. That's that's the, the immediate next scene. Rio ends Rio up in prison. Goes to jail. Rio goes to jail. <laughs> they definitely had to return that kind of enterprise. <laughs> So Rio goes to jail and receives a letter from uh, Magnesium that just says, hey, Rio. And the movie cuts to her eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich at her daddy grave. You didn't even finish. What? <sighs> That's it. That's in the movie. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, oh, my God. Like, bro, let's see. address one thing at a time. She eating the peanut butter and jelly sandwich with the crust cut off and her daddy grapes. So that's the end of the movie. Came back from Ooh, the dead to tell you how God. trash you were for consuming your peanut butter and jelly sandwich as such. Oh, boy. Uh, that's how the movie ends. <laughs> Word? <laughs> it, says, it says she writes him a letter, and, uh, and the only thing on the letter says, Hey, Rio. <laughs> that was it. Oh, God. Brother. Ah. <sighs> I cannot make any of this up. Can't make any of this up. Are you sure about that? I'm positive, bro. Positive. Yeah, that was the end of the movie. So the end of the movie is Rio is chasing um Coliseum with a gun. They run across a a, a stop sign. At the stop sign, Coliseum's grandmother hits uh, the wife with the car. Not hard enough to kill her, but apparently, you know, she had blood everywhere. <laughs> so I don't know. It's just it's just random blood. It's like <laughs> it's random blood. Uh, but she had random blood on. She died at the scene. The next scene is Rio in some kind of jail. He don't have no kind of prison like actual outfit on it was just like a little red dicky i mean an orange dicky suit <laughs> um and he's he's raking up leaves or something like that uh he gets a letter <laughs> delivered to him outside just cut it out he, this is outside he gets a letter delivered to him outside while he's raking up leaves that says hey rio did we cut to uh coliseum at her dad's uh grave site Eating a peanut butter jelly sandwich with the crest cut off. In the movie. In the movie. Can't make that up, man. Stupid. Can't make it up. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Uh this movie. Um Yeah, I don't know what to say. Don't sound like as much you can say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
this movie is this movie is diabolical on so many. Yeah, how do you get a letter out? So it was the wildest thing. <laughs> Why <are> you working? <laughs> like who sweeps who who rakes leaves at a prison? I just I don't understand. I was confused. Oh, absolutely zero popcorn. <laughs> I ain't even gonna put it up. It's, it's, they, they should get for that that last five minutes. They should get that last five minutes reminded me of uh Mia Cooper because <laughs> it was just like stuff just happening just for no reason. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, whoo, um, yeah. You got anything to say, Mo? Any any words of encouragement? Anything? Chrissy, I don't, I don't think Mo gonna watch another two movie right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I didn't even finish the movie, and I'm. Uh... But I, I told you exactly what happened. Because when you name your child an element from the periodic table, that <laughs> that lets me know everything I need to know about you. <clears throat> yeah, this this was this was a rough this was a rough watch, man. Um, this was a rough watch. Um, yeah. Simply because, yeah, I just, I don't know how, <clears throat> I don't know, yeah. Yeah. It just, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if 2B is the problem. I think that, uh. You put this movie on any other streaming platform, anybody paying to watch this shit. Yeah. I think the scripts are the problem, man. This is this. And this is the thing. This is the thing about this movie. It was actually shot well for the most part. Like as far as like how it doesn't look like grainy. It looks like they actually use like a camera. Like um, the special effects were were trash, VFX not good. Um, it just it just kind of felt like somebody just I don't know. But um, but yeah, I, um. Name was Elysium. Yeah. From from y'all just hearing that, what what do y'all grade the movie? <laughs> it's already got a, I got a zero and a negative. What what do what, what are y'all grade it? No, I I just. Speak on it, brother. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this one. I was I was left at there, uh, there, there ain't much to say. A seven what? Yeah, point seven. Oh, point seven. <laughs> now if you got two hundred fifty. Okay. <laughs> Mm -mm. pretty much marcus pretty much i'm just saying like video quality was 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 there yeah just the the acting and the the acting in the script was was stupid like that whole no like, <laughs> like 
anytime that happens in a movie, I'm just I'm already checking out because because why are we doing this? Um, you gotta make it dramatic, brother. No, nah, it's not making it dramatic. It's making it stupid. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I have I have no rating for this movie. It's a it's a zero for me. It's a definite zero for me. Um, yeah. And that and that's what's sad about it, because like it does have good like film quality. And it's like you chose to do to do that. So there, there's that. I don't have anything else to say about this one. Yeah, if I like I said, if y'all <laughs> if y'all watching this on the replay, just you know. Make sure you comment, like, and share. Um, We'll be back on Saturday, hopefully with something a lot more pleasant than this. Um, Because, yeah. 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 But it's been another episode of the Popcorn and Beer Podcast. If you have seen this movie, let us know what you think in the comments. If you haven't, and... um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, we about to go. Uh, if you haven't, um, couldn't tell you. I don't know yet. I'm still trying to figure that part out. Uh, still trying to figure that part out. But, Just uh, make sure, make sure you follow the Popcorn and Your Beer podcast on Instagram. Uh, that is the social media platform that puts out our updates the most frequent. So if you want to be in the loop in real time and, and and really pay attention to what we got going on. Make sure you follow on Instagram. If I was you, I would go back and watch it. <laughs> I would go back and watch why, this episode. Why would you... I'm talking about this episode. Don't watch the movie. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you, you don't, you don't have that, you, that. Don't, you you personally don't have to go back and watch the movie. I, if you want to see exactly what I was talking about with, with that scene, uh I did post part of it on uh <laughs> on social media. Um Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, definitely appreciate it. Um, but yeah, Saturday we're gonna try to figure that whole thing out. Um, and we'll definitely keep y'all posted on it. Uh, whether we do, you know, a movie or something else, but um, we'll definitely keep y'all posted on on Saturday's movement. Um, we still have a lot of movies to cover. Uh, we might do Jurassic Park. I don't know. With the OG, yeah, might do some, might do something like that, something good. Uh, we'll let y'all know though. But uh, once again, thank you for everybody that joined in. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a show. Make sure you like as well. Um, we appreciate y'all for coming through. Uh, once again, shout out to our counterparts. Mika Mo, no, well, I almost said Mo. No, I'm right here, cuz you are you right here. <laughs> I got, I got Mika. Jesus. I'm used to saying everybody's name in like you know, like a, a different order. I gotta be, <laughs> I gotta figure it out, but uh, but no, shout out to our counterparts, uh, first ladies in the chat. Uh, Duke, uh, he had to, he had to, uh, go, go work. Um, Ken's birthday is today, uh, so make sure y'all show him some love. Um and yeah, man, we're gonna we're gonna catch y'all Saturday. Uh Ken, uh, you know, we, we appreciate you, brother. Uh you know what I'm saying, uh Cake had hella candles on it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh just wanted to to make sure we gave you some love, brother. Um but but shout out to all of y'all and definitely appreciate y'all for stopping through and um we're gonna see y'all saturday right here on the popcorn in your beer podcast i'm your ultra shot and last but not least i am the king moe aka who in the periodic table is this (laughs) 43 candles is wild 
Like you got to get the actual numbers at this point. <laughs> Brother, because if you're trying to blow out 43 candles, that's, Brother, that's, that's... when you remove 43 candles, ain't no cake left. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no cake left. And stop blowing on cake. Oh, stop blowing on cakes. It's nasty. With wet might breath. Want your, might want your wet breath on a piece of cake. <laughs> Disgusting. I hate that. It's the most unsanitary thing we have ever done is blow white oh, oh candles on a cake. You nasty buzzards. Oh. <sighs> Man, where's first lady Tevin push the button? Man, I don't know where she is. I don't know. She she might be in the chat somewhere. We don't use candles. The hell y'all use? Just write forty three on the cake. <laughs> Just write forty three on the cake. Mm-mm. I wonder if Ken was one of them people like, "Hey, give me the slice with my name on." Hey man, you don't cut the slice with your name on it, man. That's that's a rule. That's a black. That's a black rule. That is a black rule. You, you not we cut will engage in fisticuffs if you look that that piece is sacred, and it you belongs right. to the to the person that we celebrate. Hey, bro. First lady said I got pushed, but so she said it. She said it. So we'll catch y'all next time right here on the Popcorn and Beer Podcast. Peace, enjoy yourself. Be good, be easy, love each other, and we'll holler at y'all next time. Drink Peace. juice. Drink some juice and some water. Get you some juice. <laughs> hey, before to cut everybody off, like now. Man, Speak on it, brother. Speak on it.